As you stand and look across the water towards what's called Old Law on Guile Point, you can see two obelisks or beacons. And these were constructed in the early part of the 19th century to enable seamen to get a true bearing on their approach to the island. Known as East Old Law on the left and West Old Law to the right, they are 70 feet high and 83 feet high respectively and set 122 yards apart on the sand dunes. They're built in the shape of elongated pyramids and originally they had a wrought iron triangle on a metal staff on the top of each. On the 1st of November 1995 they were taken under the control of Trinity House in London. They no longer have their iron triangles on the top and with the changing currents which alter the channels in the approach to the island harbour the bearing of the beacons is no longer accurate and so while West Old Law Beacon, which now bears a fixed light about a third way up its structure, is currently called Guile Point Lighthouse, East Old Law looks rather idly on, without any sense of purpose. Just to your right, there's a polycarbonate navigational light, which is called Huff Hill Lighthouse, surmounted by a red triangular day mark, and I understand that if you line that up with the top of St Mary's Church, it serves something of the same purpose to provide a safe way in to this water channel.